Welcome to the world of Knits Cool. This video will teach you how to knit this super trendy tote purse using our new post knitting method. Our Knits Cool Studio uses simple vertical posts, so there are no needles to hold. It's easy and fun, and you won't get tangled up in knitting needles ever again. For this project, you will need the Knits Cool Studio with all of its components and 30 yards of yarn. We will be using the teal blue yarn from the tote purse kit. First, select your medium Knits Cool posts and insert them into the holes in the studio. Make sure you hear them click in. Casting on. For this project, you will cast on 10 stitches. To first cast on, take your yarn and find the tail end. Make a slip knot and place it onto the right post, like this. Then, twist to make a loop and place it onto the right post. Tighten the loop until it is snug. Now make another loop and place that onto the right post as well. Continue to do this until you have 10 stitches on your post. Make sure your yarn is looped through the yarn holder. This is super important because it keeps your yarn towards the back and helps you make perfect stitches. Knitting rows. Okay, let's start knitting. Remove the first stitch from the right post and pull the yarn through it. This makes a new loop and then you just pop that onto the left post. Tighten it up a little by pulling on the yarn. Now take the next stitch from the right post and pull the yarn through it and place it onto the left post again. So now you keep doing this until all the stitches are knit onto the left post and there are no more stitches on the right post. Keep in mind that this row is the most finicky as your first stitches are just twisted loops and not fully formed yet. After this, your stitches will be a breeze to knit. You have now knit one row. Go check your row counter and make sure that the button is set to one. So now, knit all of these stitches back onto the right post. Now keep in mind, at this point you're probably thinking, my stitches look wrong and don't look anything like knitted fabric. But actually, that's the way they're supposed to look. A little messy looking. So don't worry, just keep going. Once your knitting starts to grow, you'll see your work looking more and more like a knitted design. You have now knit two rows. You can click to number two. All right, let's continue knitting back and forth until you have reached 30 rows. Okay, now that you've finished your 30 rows, your project should look like this. Now let's cast off. This is the fun part. The first step is to knit two stitches onto the opposite post. By now, I'm sure you can do this with your eyes closed. Then simply grab the bottom stitch and slip it over the top stitch and let it go. Next, knit another stitch onto the post so you now have two stitches on this post again. Grab the bottom stitch and slip it over the top stitch. Keep doing this until you only have one remaining stitch on the post. Now take this one stitch with your project off the post completely and thread the tail through the loop. And tighten. You should have a neat finished edge like this. Finishing your tote purse. Let's sew your purse together. Fold the fabric in half with the good side facing out. You are going to sew together one side of the purse, then thread the yarn through the bottom and sew up the other side. The first thing you're going to do is take your sewing needle that comes with the studio and thread the yarn through it. Then with the edges of the purse together, insert the needle into a few loops on both sides of the purse. Now don't worry about exactly which loops to sew, as long as you catch some loops on each side and that they're somewhat across from each other. The trick here is to make your stitches snug but not too tight. You want to keep your purse in a rectangle shape. Once you're finished sewing this side, run your thread along the bottom of the purse. This cool little trick is so you don't have to clip your sewing yarn and start again in order to sew up the other side. Then, once you reach the other side, sew up that side until you reach the top of the purse again.
Now before you clip your yarn, make sure to tie a knot. You can remove the needle for this part if you like. There, you're done! Now for the strap. Measure out how long you want your strap and tie it to one side of the purse. Then tie the other end to the other side of the purse. Now if you'd like to customize your purse even more, you can add tassels. To make tassels, cut lengths of yarn to your liking. But remember, each strand will be folded in half and that will be the length of the tassel. I'm going to make four tassels. So now, take your first strand and fold it in half. Then take your crochet hook that comes with the studio and insert it into a loop at the bottom corner of your purse. Hook the yarn and pull it through the purse, but not all the way. Then take the tail ends of the tassel and pull them through the loop you just made. Wasn't that easier than you thought? Now continue adding the rest of the tassels to your purse. Let's add a button charm. You can add this to the outside of the purse for decoration only, or add it to the inside of the purse to use as a closure. I'm going to add mine to the inside. First, cut a length of yarn at least 6 to 10 inches long. Use your sewing needle to thread the yarn through a loop on the inside of the purse. Then, thread the button onto the needle. And finally, catch a bit of the purse to secure the button, and tie the ends. Don't worry about making a buttonhole. You can easily slip the button through the purse. So that's it. You just made your very own tote purse. Have fun with this one by designing and personalizing it any way you want. The sky's the limit.